Well, hey, everybody. <laughs> it's Grandpa. Everybody say hi, Grandpa. <laughs> We're going to put on the armor of God. So let's get started. Put on the... That's right. Put on your belt of truth. Say breastplate of righteousness. Put on your shoes of peace. Okay, here we go. Putting on the shoes. There's one. Let's do the other one. Oh. That's a good one. All right. Take up your say, shield of paste and we cover it in the oil of the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, okay, let's just set this here. Now take up your helmet of salvation to protect our eyes, our mouth, our ears, and our mind. And our widow nosies. <laughs> and you take up your sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. That's right. With it, which is, and we cover ourselves in the blood, because it's the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, baby. The blood of Jesus. Catch us free. <laughs> All right. Well, let's um, uh, let's uh, oh, that's we gotta pray. That's right. Hands together. Well, here. Wait a minute. Everybody, sit down. You may be seated. Sit down. Let's pray. Hands together. Fingers crossed. Heads bowed and eyes closed. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. What? What? Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, well, all right. Uh, well, hey, we've got two rules today. Um, but before we do that, we got to pray. All right. Hands together. Fingers crossed. Heads bowed and eyes closed. Let's do the Lord's Prayer. Say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Say, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got two rules. Everybody, go ahead and set down your cane for a moment. Here we go. Hold up two fingers. Touch the back of your hand. Oh, make sure you cross them. Back of your hand, front of your hand. That's sign language for rule. Say rule one. Love God. Say rule two. Love others as yourself. You see, one day a man came to Jesus and said, What is the most important of all the rules? Jesus told him to, to love the Lord your God with all your heart. Say it with me. All your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength. And then, to love others as yourself. When you do that, 
you obey all the law and the prophets. And that's a good thing. All right, everybody. Go ahead and please stand. And let's get ready to sing a special Fruit of the Spirit song. Because there's never a rule against showing the fruit of the Spirit. Here we go. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit is not a coconut. The fruit of the Spirit is not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit. All right, jump with me. Because the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. This is a long song, isn't it? Well, the fruit of the Spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the Spirit's not a watermelon. If you want to be a watermelon, who would want to be a watermelon? But you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit. Because the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's, that's all I got, kids. So. All right, everybody, please sit. I'm going to sit too. So let me just sit down here. Get my chair. Here we go. Go ahead and sit down. There we go. Man. Whew. All right, guys. Well, there's never any rules against showing the fruit of the Spirit. All right, guys. We got, uh, before we do our Bible, we're going to do our pledges. And uh, whenever I say ready, you put your hands like this. Ready. Salute. And then we'll do our pledge. Here we go. Go ahead and stand back up. Go ahead and stand up. Good job. Ready. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. You know what? Grandpa's got to stand up for this. I can't sit down while I'm doing my pledges to my country and to my God. Here we go. I'm going to set that down. Grandpa's ready. All right. Uh, what's, what's that? Oh, yeah, good to go. All right. Here we go. Grandpa is ready to go. Let me set down my, my hat. Here we go. All right. Ready. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Whew, that's the truth. Now let's do the Christian flag. Ready? Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen and coming again, with life and liberty for all who believe. And now we'll do our Bible. Nope. Ready. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. You may be seated. All right, kids, I gotta get my hat. I dropped it. Yeah. All right, well, here we go. All right, there we go. Now, here, now, boys and girls, if you're in class today, remember. When I say one, two, three, eyes on me, you say one, two, eyes on you. Let's try it. One, two, three, eyes on me. <laughs> you guys did great. Let's keep that up. 
Now, if you've got to use your restroom today, just hold up your thumb and cover it with the finger. That's sign language for restroom. And if you need to get a drink, just hold up a W and that's water. And I'll say yes or no. If I say yes, you take off and go. If your teacher says no, or if I say no, you don't do it. You just wait, and that's okay. All right, well, one more thing. I want you to know that I like you. And right now, your teacher is going to tell you one thing that they like about you too. So, let's just take a moment and say one thing I like about you. Because one thing I like about you is you came here today with me. And we're learning about Jesus and about His Word. So let's go ahead and we'll have some uh, Bible skit we're going to do today. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> open up your Bibles. I got mine opened up. Uh, and let's go ahead and pray. Say, oh, uh, well, let's, let's, uh, what, what? Yeah, that's, all right, yeah, all right, all right. Hands together, fingers crossed, heads bowed and eyes closed. Say, Holy Spirit, now say it with me. Say, Holy Spirit, teach me the Word of God. Huh, well, yeah, all right, so we're going to open up our Bible to Acts chapter 6, and it goes like this. Now, I need a helper, so I need you right now to put on your book belt, put on your Bible book belt, Right around your way. Put it on, or you can put on your Bible suspenders. <laughs> and I want you to turn to it. And now you're going to turn in to G, to J, to, excuse me. Put that here. I'm going to set down my cane here. Will you help me pick that up in a little bit? I hope you will. <laughs> All right. You're going to turn into a Bible character named. Stephen. Go ahead. Everybody say, Hi, I'm Stephen. Well, hello, Stephen. Glad to meet you. It says, Now, Stephen did great wonders and signs among the people. So everybody do some wonders. <laughs> do a sign. Hey, that's a sign. Yeah, that's good. All right. Wonders and signs. It says, Then some of the people belong to the synagogue. And they started to argue with Stephen. So let's do that. Everybody say, no, you didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you. And they argued with Stephen. And they began to secretly get some men who blasphemed against him. So everybody turn into those evil men. Oh, Stephen, you did bad things. I know you did. Say it with me. Say, oh, Stephen, you did bad things. I know you did. And then turn back into Stephen. Say, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Turn your book belt. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And it says that they blasphemed Stephen, but they could not handle his wisdom. And so they went and got a lot of people to stand up against him. And it says they brought false witnesses. So they brought lots of liars. Oh, I hate liars. And it says that those liars said, this man never stops to speak against him. So let's turn into those liars, right? Say, Stephen's a liar. Stephen does wrong. I don't trust Stephen. Now you turn back into Stephen. Nuh-uh. And it says that they all lied to him, and they took him and grabbed him. So let's grab Stephen. I got you now, Stephen. You're not letting go. And it says that they took him and they brought him to the council. And they continued to lie, but whenever they looked at Stephen's face, it says it was like an angel. So let's turn back into Stephen. Let me see your angel face. That's my angel face. Let me see your angel face. Oh, that's a good job. All right, everybody. Go ahead and please sit. All right, here we go. Now, in that story, Stephen was lied about. Those people came and told Stephen 
that he had been doing wrong. But God knew that Stephen had told the truth. You should also tell the truth. We're not here to lie, but sometimes when we do the right thing, somebody might lie about you. It's your job to keep doing what's right. It said that when they looked at him, they saw his face was like an angel. That means that God was with him, and they knew it. But they kept believing a lie. You, when people talk bad about you, they will know that they're lying. But you need to know that God is with you no matter what. Let's pray. Hands together. Oh, you can do better than that. Hands together. Fingers crossed. Heads bowed. Eyes closed. Say these words. God, when people lie about me, help me to tell the truth no matter what they say. In Jesus' name. Amen? <laughs> Amen. All right, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed your Bible lesson and little story today. I know I sure did. Be sure to come back each and every day so we can honor the Lord and give Him praise. Everybody say, bye, Grandpa. <laughs> bye. I'm leaving. All right, which way do I go? I go that way. Okay, okay, I'm going. I got to get my stick here. There we go. Oh, that way? Okay, I'm sorry. Well, coach, how'd it go? You think we should do it again?